When someone gets hurt at work in the state of New Jersey, by law, you maintain the right to uh, receive medical treatment. If you are out of work, you get paid, and then you receive an award for that injury. So when you receive the money, what happens is we go to court. Uh, there's a court order that gets entered, and by go to court, we're still virtual, so I don't physically mean in court, but um, but there's a court order that gets entered. So what I always tell people is that you have two years from the, 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 the law says you have two years from the date that you receive your final benefit. Okay. So we're, we're going to talk about that, but I always tell people, if you, if you came back to me exactly two years from the date that's on the court order, you're still going to be within time to reopen your case. So workers comp in New Jersey says even after the case is settled, you still have the ability to come back. So if your condition gets worse over time, then you can come back, you can get additional benefits and the insurance company or whomever, the state, county, whatever. But the other side is responsible to provide future medical treatment. And if you had to be out of work again, they would pay you to be out of work although the payments go back to the date of accident. So if you got hurt, let's say in 2019, and you had to be out of work, it's gonna be based on what your wages were in 2019. You don't get a cost of living if you have to be out of work in the future. But you get the same rights. And if your condition gets worse, then you're gonna maintain the right to get additional money on top of what you received the first go around. So if the first time your case settles for, let's say, 15% and you get something like $18,000, and then the case settles again, now it might be 20% with a credit for 10 of the 15% that they've already paid. So in that scenario, you get the difference between what you got paid and the higher percentage. So that's the new money. Um, so, however, when you reopen the case, you got two years from the date that you received the final benefit. So sometimes when the percentage of disability is high enough, then you not only receive a lump sum payment, but you also then receive payments after that until the entire award is paid out. So as an example, 30% of disability, all right, in New Jersey is 200 weeks of payments. So uh, I'm sorry, 180 weeks of payments. Sorry, 180 weeks of payments. So what happens is the insurance company goes backwards from the date that they last paid you for being out of work. And then what they do is they fill the gap. So, so what happens is you get hurt and you're out of work for this period of time. And then what happens is you go back to work and now there's this, let's say a year window where there are no payments because you're back at work and your worker's compensation case is processing, okay? So now exactly 52 weeks have accrued. So what happens is if your case settled for 30%, which is 180 weeks of payments, then you get the 52 weeks up front. So here's your accrued money and the balance, which would be the 100 and uh, 28 weeks, um, which is going to be like two and a half years, that gets paid out over time. Now, the depending on the insurance company, they'll either pay bi-weekly or they'll pay uh, once a month. But no matter what, you get paid out over time. Well, the right to reopen your case, that two-year window, doesn't start to run until you get the last payment. So my little example here, where you get one year of benefits, you got two and a half years of payments, okay? Now you've got two more years beyond that. So it's like a four and a half year window, uh, a statute of limitations uh, window, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. That's, that's one of the true, I mean, there aren't many, believe me, there are not many, but that's one of the advantages of workers' compensation in New Jersey is that you have that additional time to reopen the case because it's two years from the last benefit. Now, a benefit is not necessarily can only considered 
the money you get from an award. If the insurance company, let's say you settle your case and then you call, uh, then you call um, workers comp, you call the insurance company. So the case is settled and um, the case is settled. And what happens then is a year later, you're still getting money, but a year later um, you ask to go see the doctor or let's do it this way. Say your case settles for a percentage and you get the entire award in a lump sum. So here's your entire award, that's your final payment. Now you got two years, okay? However, what happens, what happens if a year later you call the insurance company and you say, hey, my whatever is bothering me, I wanna go back and see the doctor. If they send you back to the doctor, which doesn't happen often, but if they do, that resets the two-year window because a medical treatment, medical treatment, which is the visit back to the doctor, that's considered a benefit. So it resets the two-year statute of limitations. So from that point of view, um, you know, it, it goes, it go, it can, it, it can get extended. Now, a whole bunch of things about that. The insurance company rarely will just send you back to the doctor without your having formally reopened the workers' compensation case. So that's first. Um, and even when you reopen the case and you make a request to send you back to the doctor, that doesn't happen often until, you know, we get involved and start, you know, yelling, uh, um, or we get you evaluated by our doctor and then we go fight about it in court. So, but nonetheless, uh, bu, 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 bu. um, okay. Um, nonetheless, um, the, the t- two years, like I said, is a, a statute of limitations that only starts to run once you receive the final payment. So that's that's really where the benefit lies as far as that goes. So that's on a reopener, right? And so usually what happens is somebody will say, oh, I'm worse and I want to reopen my case, which is fine. So then what we'll do is we'll file the reopener and right in the paperwork, right as we're filing the reopener, we'll indicate that the petitioner, injured worker, is requesting um, an evaluation back with the once authorized treating physician. So right in the original pleadings, we're already making the request to send somebody back to see the doctor. So that's that's how we get started. Um, and then, like I said, we'll give them the 30 days, they'll file an answer, whether they send you or not, that's you know hit or miss. And more often than not, they don't. And then, The next thing would be that we then will uh, send you for our doctor to be evaluated and then we'll go fight about it. Um, So anyways, so the, um, so that's, that's a basic reopener. So then the question came up um, would be what happens if I've reopened my case? So it's the old case, but I've been involved in a new accident or a new injury and it affects the same body part. What happens then? So let's say, as an example, the case, the old case is resolved, but we have not yet reopened it. And somebody comes back and says, okay, well, I'm in a new job or I'm at the same job and I've had a new accident or a new injury. So if it's the same job, it's gonna more than likely be the same insurance. So that's gonna make it a little bit easier. And what we would then do if it's the same employer same body part, same employer, same insurance, what we would do is just file the new claim for the new date of accident. If, however, it's a different employer and then more than likely a different insurance company, then what we're going to do is we are going to file, not only are we going to reopen the old case, and I'll tell you why, we reopen the old case and then what we're gonna do is then what we're going to do is we're going to file the the new claim right so we're going to file the new claim and um in that scenario the reason that we do that the reason that we reopen the old case and file the new case is because here's what the insurance companies are going to do insurance company old insurance company is going to say oh it's their fault because it's a new accident and the new 
employer is going to say, well, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. It's not us. Even though you had a new accident, it's really there. So then they're starting to fight about it. So I want everybody at the party because when we get in front of a judge, the judge is going to pick somebody to at least provide medical treatment. And if my client had to be out of work, they're going to pay him. So the judge is going to pick one of them and then we'll fight about that part later. Who's responsible? Now, the second employer, the new accident, they get the right to get a credit when it comes time to try and settle the case. They get a credit for the prior award. So if the first case settles for 15 percent, all right, then um, the first case settles for 15 percent, let's say, and you have this new accident. Now it's going to settle for 30 percent because you got hurt worse then the um then so now the new one's going to settle for 30 percent they get a credit for the prior 15 percent so the award on the new one would say 30 percent credit 15 percent which would be the prior award so that's usually um <clears throat> that's usually where um um that's usually where the newer insurance company gets their credits or that's where they get their um, benefit from the prior award is on the settlement. Um, if it's a new job and a new insurance company. So I got hurt before at an old job. I'm at a new job. I have gotten um, hurt, same body parts, same body parts and now it's the same insurance company. Even though it's a different employer, it winds up being the same insurance, okay? So that actually just makes it easier because if it's the same insurance company, so we'll say, let's say New Jersey manufacturers, right? Injury number one, I work for ABC company and it's NJM. Now I work for XYZ company and it's NJM. So that makes it easier because NJM is gonna have all of the old information. All right. So what that does is I then then we don't have to if it's the exact same body parts, we don't have to reopen the old case. All right. We don't have to reopen the old case because it's going to be the same insurance company, same body parts, new accident. So we would just in that case, we would just file uh, the new claim. 